What's going on everyone? This is the Preacher Man. Today is December the 3rd, 2015, and it's 2.46 a.m. in the morning. I couldn't sleep, so I just woke up, and uh, I went on Facebook, and I checked out the brand new Batman vs. Superman trailer. Did I say that right? Trailer. <laughs> and here is my first impressions of this <clears throat> video. As you can see from my face, I am not pleased at all. Who in their right mind decided to cast that actor I'm talking about Lex Luthor no no the beginning of this trailer shows Bruce Wayne driving up to this place and uh, the guy who's playing Clark Kent is interviewing him and the chemistry there it's, it's pretty good. I mean, it's okay. It's I'm not mad at that. <laughs> but uh, as soon as Lex Luthor appeared, this person who was playing Lex Luthor, it just ruined the experience to me. I mean, really? And let me tell you guys something. <clears throat> I am a huge Batman fan. I read not all the not all the novels, but I read a lot of them. I've been a huge fan for many, many years. <laughs> and uh this Lex Luthor this version of Lex Luthor is really killing me right now. <laughs> now I think I, I really uh, nailed that point. Let me uh, continue with my thoughts. The rest of the movie, I mean the trailer. Oh, man, I don't know. <clears throat> I just don't have a good feeling about this. The last trailer that came out was good, but this one, I believe that they just showed way too much, and. You know, trailers nowadays, they tend to do that. The new Star Wars trailer that came out recently was fantastic. Because they, even though they showed a lot of stuff, they still left things, you know, to our imagination. But this one, I felt like I, I know exactly what's going to happen. Especially towards the end when Lex Luthor was saying that if uh, if man correct me if I'm wrong because I only saw the trailer once if man cannot be God something like that and then suddenly I seen this monster just appeared out of nowhere <laughs> and uh, I just didn't know what that was then I saw Batman Wonder Woman and Superman and Batman says something I forgot what he said and and I'm saying to myself wait a minute is that doomsday <laughs> I really hope that's not doomsday please I hope that's not doomsday I understand that Hollywood, you know, let me, let me, let me not sugarcoat it. Hollywood for a long time, they've been messing movies up. Now, Marvel is killing it. I mean, that new Captain America Civil War trailer is awesome. And it seems to me that DC is trying to play catch up. What they should have done is right after Man of Steel, they should have just continued the Superman story. 
you know, right after Metropolis was destroyed, basically. They should have just continued that story. One more movie with him and Doomsday or, or something else. No, with him, with Superman and Lex Luthor. Another Lex Luthor. Somebody else playing as Lex Luthor. A ball-headed Lex Luthor. I don't. I'm not feeling this. <clears throat> yes, it's very, very too early to judge. But based on what I have seen, I'm just not excited for it. Maybe, uh, you know, I'm definitely going to see it, definitely. But uh, I'm just not impressed. Those are my first impressions. And uh, that's about it, guys. Uh, what do you guys think? Let me know. <laughs> all right. This is the Preacher Man signing out. God bless you all. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless you and those around you. And if you do not have him right now, get him right, ha right now. Accept him as Lord and Savior before it's too late. In Christ's holy name, I say amen. Peace.